Hello, my name is Tim Buick, PPR Certified Pickleball Professional for Total Pickleball. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to hit a winning backhand. Hitting a winning backhand is really a five-step process. And first, let's get back to why do we need a solid backhand? You see pickleball players all the time that wanna run all the way around. They don't wanna hit their backhand. They're out here to hit a forehand. Problem is, now they've opened up the whole court. And so we need to solidify our offhand. Left side for righties, right side for lefties. So how do we do it? How do we hit a winning backhand? A lot of people come from tennis to pickleball. And I tell my tennis folks, I say, the shorter the court, the shorter the stroke. Calm, quick, and compact. Here, this court is only 44 feet long, 20 feet wide. So we wanna keep things real tight and compact. Step number one to hitting a winning backhand is early preparation. I see the ball coming to my backhand side. The very first thing I'm gonna do is turn, paddle back. Turn, get my paddle back. I'm facing the side fence. I call it wind the spring and let it fling. This is the winding the spring, so I turn. Secondly, I need to use my non-dominant hand for support. You can either hit a one-hander or a two-hander. The problem is, is a lot of times on the backhand side, I see people flicking and slapping at it. When you, we use our non-dominant hand to support, it pulls it back, gets the proper shoulder turn. So what should you do? Should you hit a one-hander or a two-hander? I say yes. I don't favor one over the other necessarily. A lot of times I will see, especially players who aren't as strong, Again, they're flicking and they're doing this and they're not getting any power on their backhand. Use the non-dominant hand, whether you're gonna hit a one-hander or a two-hander, help it with the shoulder turn to support. If you're gonna hit a two-hander, which I really like for a lot of people, it forces the proper stroke path. So because biomechanically the way our left arm works, we use that left arm and it drives the ball through. Now we can do it with a one-hander as well. Whatever works. That's one of the great things about pickleball is it's very utilitarian. Use whatever works, but make sure the non-dominant hand supports either way with a one or a two-hander. Step number three is I step with my right foot for righties. So I step as I'm hitting the ball. Step number four, I want to make contact out in front. And step number five, follow through. On the follow through, this is critical. Again, we only have 44 feet to work with from baseline to baseline. So what we wanna do is we wanna follow through like a Ferris wheel, not a merry-go-round. Sometimes we'll do and we'll pull across. We wanna go up. So this is a lift and we come up through to get that top spin to bring the ball down into the court. That's the five step process to hit a winning backhand. I hope you found this video helpful for you so you can be dangerous off both wings, not just your forehand, but your backhand as well. For more tips and tricks, go to TotalPickleball.com.